it's gonna be awesome. Hey guys, it's Keita's dad here. So before we get going on the tutorial here, just a couple things to really uh, point out, make sure you're aware. If you can, when you, before you get started, make sure your kiddos wear something that's loose fitting with no collar, preferably something that you can pull down when you're done, that way you don't have to go up over their head. And then two, try not to wash their hair the same day. Um, that way it just helps roll and hold a little bit better. All right, and then now we'll get into our supplies here. The important things we need here, as you see we got our roller base, it's plugged in, they're hot. We, nice little trick, you put a towel over, it helps it get warmer quicker and stay warm. You got your extra rollers over here that you continue to put in as you use them. You got your comb, and you got uh, your handy dandy brush here. As you see, you got an assortment of different uh, clips. You know, go with sort of whatever works best for you and your kiddo. Um, then you got some tissues here. Sometimes you need it for the sensitive areas when you get around the ears. Help protect them so they don't burn them there. And then uh, at least, you know, most importantly, hairspray. All right, let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the brush, brush the hair out here a little bit. Try to get it, obviously, so there's no knots and it's nice and fine. Get it going here. What I like to do, what really seems to work for us here with Keeley, is I'll take the fine comb we got here, the little pointy end on the, on the end here. What we'll sort of do is, I try to take here, right here in the middle, I try to take a swath of hair that's only about the width of the roller, because this, this front area is really the most important thing when it comes to doing their hair, when they go to their hair and makeup artist. So what I'll do is here, Sort of go through here, separate it out, like I said, in three sort of pieces. You have, you have each of your sides, and then you have the hair that's gonna be right down the middle here. So, take us a second here, we'll get this all sorted out. A lot of times what I'll do now, is I'll take one of these clips, I'll we'll grab this sort of chunk of hair here, that we separate it out, just clip it up so it sort of stays out of the way, which is nice. And we'll go over here on the other side, It can be a little bit tough sometimes with the kids' hair, just depending on how it's parted and stuff of that nature. So don't worry, it's not a perfect, not a perfect science, you know. Let's see here. Let's see another. Yep, make sure you, this part over here, the short front, the bangs area, can be tough, so make sure you grab that and miss that there. Daddy, the clip is on the ears. Oop, and you see we had our first fatality here, clipped her ear in, but she's tough, they're resilient. Alright, so, alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started here. So, as you can see here, we want to take just a little bit, we don't want to make sure we get too much hair. Too much hair can make it really hard for the, the roll to hold. So let's take a little bit, maybe I don't know, half an inch, inch, something of that nature. Pull it out here. And we're gonna do put a little hairspray on it. Again, all we really need is just the end. I tend to go a little bit above and beyond. I, uh, I put quite a bit in there because I just wanted to make sure that it holds real well. You know, the most important thing here is try not to take the end of the hair and flip it over or crimp it underneath the hair. The other hair, when you start rolling it, you do create some problems once you go to start doing the hair and makeup for the day. So what we're gonna do is here, we're gonna take these two little clips at first. Another thing too is don't take one of these bigger clips. Really not ideal to take one of these and put it right on here because what it does, it'll crimp the front of the hair up here. And then again, it can create problems down the road when you go to start doing hair and makeup at the pageant. So, all right, so we're gonna a couple more of these going here. All right, see that's a little too much. I got a little too much hair there, so there we go. And you wanna try to get these, these rollers and these curls as tight as possible here at the start. Because they're the, again, they're the most important ones. The front ones up front are the most important ones you'll do. Right. I'm take it here and hold that for 
a second. And what we're gonna do now, now we'll take one of these bigger clips and we'll clip the two of these together so we can hold them from the side. Again, most important thing here, try to keep them tight. Don't be afraid. Sometimes you'll have to, you know, pull them tight, twist them tight again. That's okay. It's not a big deal. So there you go. So as you see, that one's got a little loose. So I'll pull that one tight. Get the clip on there. There we go. So now we've got a good start there. One thing I like to try to do, I think it makes it important, just depends on who you talk to. I try to keep, make sure that my row of hair right up the middle, I try to keep it as like perfectly straight all the way through the entire back of the hair, back of the head, everything. So I think it just makes it easier for you down the road when you hit the sides. So. Don't be surprised, these rollers are gonna be nice and hot. Your fingers will hurt when you're done. So just be prepared for that. How's it going, Keely? Good. This process is, you know, when you first start off, it'll probably take you 45 minutes to an hour maybe. Uh, just depends, like how particular you want to be. I'm pretty particular. So it takes me about 45 minutes to do this. Um, a lot of times you get better at it. Um, you probably get it down to maybe like 30 minutes or so. So.
All right, as soon as I get this one, I'll have Keely turn around real quick and sort of see what I was talking about. How I try to keep them fairly straight going all the way back, all the way to the bottom. That way, it just uh, it, I feel like it helps make, you know, your, your rolling a little bit easier. So, all right. Keely, maybe you can just turn around real quick and let everyone sort of see. So there you go, see it just goes straight back down. So it helps just keep everything sort of uniform that way. All right, all right. The back ones are really good. All right, so as Keely said, this one's hurry. I think this one's hot. So we're gonna take that all important tissue. We're gonna stick that under there, keeps that roller off of her neck. So that, is that bad? That's, it's not hurting, it's like mm -hmm. This one is? Yeah, actually the one above it. This one, all right. Better? Yeah. Okay, there we go. So, okay, so no tissue time, but all right. Now, as we're gonna move on to this side here, again, very similar sort of what how we did it to start with, is I split it up into the three. What I'll do here is sort of split it again, start over here on the temple, only take it about as, again, about as wide as the roller to start with, because you probably only get maybe two or three rollers right here with this little piece here. So, just try to separate that out and again, just Flip the rest of your hair back so it stays out of your way. There we go. So again, these are the ones up here on the front. You really want to make sure you're taking your time with because they're very important. So, all right. So, let's see here. Let's get that one. No surprise, don't, don't be too frustrated. Sometimes, you know, you're gonna miss these little hairs, these real fine hairs up here in the front. It's not that big a deal. Um, like I missed this a little bit here, so I'll just roll this in back a little bit further. All right, we've got our first, we got first casualty warm here, so we'll put that under there a little bit. All right, so now what we got left here, again, I just sort of keep going along, trying to do chunks of hair that's about the width of the roller. Because again, you don't want to get too much hair outside the edge of the roller, because then it's not going to do anything for the hair. So, kind of a little bit more here. So, there we go. Clip what we don't want, or what we're not working with right now. We'll clip that back again. Get that out of the way. Continue every time, like I said. I feel like it just makes it easier for every time you just sort of brush it out so you don't run into anything. There we go. And as you'll see, we got about 
about two thirds of the way through the roller base on how many rollers we've used. So you'll see probably you get about half, you get straight back and then almost one half of the head on the sides. You get those out of one roller base, but then you'll need to start really making sure once you maybe got a half a dozen left, you want to start putting some of those other ones, those extra ones we talked about at the beginning. Put some of those in, get those warmed up, and then take them a little bit. And obviously, you don't want to be too cold when you start to roll the hair, or it's not going to do you any good. break here as you see because I only got seven rollers left so like I was just saying I'm gonna start putting some more in so you have some time for them to warm up. So there we go. We'll get those going here so they'll be ready for the other side. Alright so you have one more sort of more patch here on this side of our head. And then we'll be all done. We two thirds of the way done. And don't worry about, you know, I talked about sort of top, keeping them uniform. When you get to the sides, don't worry about that. You just sort of gotta go where the head and the hair take you, so. Jump over to the other side. Alright, there we go. Two thirds of the way done, guys. Throw a few more rollers in here. Like I said, just keep throwing a few in here and there as you go along. Make sure you got plenty of warm ones. All right. Okay. subject over here a little bit.
One other thing too, just something to think about. One of the big reasons why we talk about only keeping the curler about as wide as the, or the hair swap as wide as the curler is because if you're using the felt ones, you want to make sure the hair stays on it there. So it really does the best work without it. If you, if you have too much outside of the gray area here, it really won't do much for the hair. So. Something I would suggest for the kiddos, maybe do this in front of the TV. Um, just try to distract them. Because it does take, like I said, it takes a little bit of time. So. So as you can see, as you're talking about, sort of, you just gotta go where the hair takes you. This one's a little bit different than the other side. So that's okay. The important thing is you're getting rolled, so. Probably the other big thing too is, we can talk about this maybe a little bit later, but is uh, make sure you give yourself plenty of time when you're doing this. Um, a lot of times, uh, you probably wanna give yourself, you wanna try to give yourself at least an hour from the time you're done rolling to the time you have to start your hair and make it. That way it gives the time, gives the cooler some time to really cool down, the rollers to cool down and set, and uh, set with the hair, you know. Um, so keep that in mind as well as you get going.
right guys, we're in the home stretch. Got our last chunk of hair here. See what you got going on there. Alright. There you go. Now like I said, you want to let that sit for about an hour beforehand. And then you're ready to start working. Alright. Hope you guys find this helpful. Alright, here we go guys. Just let you sort of see what it looks like here at the end. Now we're unrolling these. You want to sort of grab them, unroll it like this hold the hair so you keep some nice curl in them that way so you know when you're doing this don't stress about it you know the first couple times it may look you may think you did horrible but you didn't you'll get better with it as time goes on so it's not that big a deal it's a learning experience so let's see here what we got going on As you see how night keeps us really nice curls like I said, here in the front is probably the most important because that's where you know everything's gonna you're gonna see all that. So not to maybe that's all right. There we go. So you know maybe not the best job I've done, but like I said, with more practice you get better at it. So hopefully this helps. Enjoy yourself. Just camp is fun.